Welcome to the Pluto Lounge, where we just chill. Conquered them all. Where they heading? This will be no different. Get over there! Surround them like! I know you're there. Show yourselves. You spoiled us. Good. It's like they say. Wait. A drow. In the sun. Stand down! This one's got a touch of the absolute about him. Apologies, your lordship. Hard making you out from a distance. I should pluck out your eyes. You're clearly not using them. Please, your greatness. Was it not a mistake, is all? You'll get no more trouble from us. Promise. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... Pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws you. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. I don't know what that toy of hers is, but I'm glad it's on our side. You've got some explaining to do first. What is that thing you have? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Why Baldur's Gate? What aren't you telling me? I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, 
I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth. For all it's worth. Let's continue. A Shah worshipper? Hmm. Not my usual quarry. Nor my usual ally. Well, thank you for sharing. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. Tell me about the artifact. What just happened? There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself. The three figures in the vision, the Chosen, are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. And you still do not know what it even is. Keep that thing safe. Seems we'll need it. Trust me. I'll guard it with my life. Let's keep going. This is some type of god and it's suppressing her memories? Like did it manipulate her memories too? Something the matter. Wait. <sighs> it hurts. Was that as painful as it looked? Worse. But it passes quickly, usually. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. How can you manage living with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine, when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. I want to talk about your Shah worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. You should trust me. We're in the same boat, after all. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? Remind me. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear. Beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. How exactly do Shah worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship. 
the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? What drew, what drew you to Shar worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. So, tell me something about yourself besides Shar, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Really? You've flown between the planes of existence, but you've never been swimming? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. Anything else you'd like to share? No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. That seems extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. That artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Curious that you just happen to have an item that can protect us. How did you come by it? I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. How can you go to all this trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. Spoken like a true pawn, they tend to get sacrificed first, you know? How cynical. I should borrow that line sometime. But if I have to die, so be it. Like I said, faith. Damn, that's some hardcore brainwashing. Like, all of our memories are taken away except these memories that have been planted to, like, love Shar unconditionally and the whole religion thing and her mission. So it's like, of course, like, all of these disciples are going to be loyal because that's basically their whole life. <laughs> anything they are, anything they were before doesn't exist. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. God, fill the front of the house. I'm too quick. With Fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul. Had led you collide. I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge. The way this one's carrying on. For souls not been truer than a Ragslin named Jor. Uh, better not use friends. Let's just suffice. Damn. Huh? That was good. Carry it on, Pete. 
Det er Jenia. And if you saw him kill Mannings, you'd have to yell, HUM! I heard Ragsalind cast shadows that are 20 leagues wide. than any I've spied! Oh, Boulder Dash. Oi, stranger! You make him with my pigeon. He's talking stupid now. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, um, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We play. We. Uh... Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now oh, look what you've done. Come on. Damn, they got dude imprisoned, and they're forcing him to sing. <laughs> Just in case I need to take her out. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. So I see. Do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? I was admiring him. I'd like one of my own. Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. He looks weak. Sick, even. He won't last long in there. Snatch him up. No tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Remember my name when you're accrediting the story's author. It's Zelig. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we are both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Ah, potion of invisibility. Transforming. I 
I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into a lithid madness it could drag us. I distrust the visitor too. I'll avoid using this power. Well chosen. Battles are won with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. And there will come a battle. Of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. These dreams linger in my memory. Do you think that strange figure will come back? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a Geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. A greater master? Who or what could that be? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. I don't know about Lazelle. Like, she may be a fighter in the day, but she's like a poet at night. Like, <laughs> the the way she describes things, the way she explains things, it's it almost feels like you're listening to a song. It's trippy. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. I don't like it. This whole thing feels like a trap. Hmm. On the one hand, you're right. On the other, don't be so wet behind the ears. Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? I had another dream. 
Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the Tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to? You stubborn rat! Please! Stop! Oh, a drow! I, I... I didn't see you there. Please! Uh, if you wanna have a try. Why are you torturing him? The git snuck in here with his mates, looking for some forgotten thing. Said they ran to some kind of grove. He doesn't want to tell us where it is! But he can't resist forever. Course, now that you're here, we'll gladly let you take over. I don't try. I get results. Move aside. Oh, oh of course. There's weapons in the fire if you want them. Uh, uh, we'll leave you to it. Come, Grush. Let's go. I don't think I've got the stomach for this. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Will disapproved. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. First, tell me, have you seen a druid called Halson? Halson? I, I, I don't know. He changed into a bear, but I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. All right, get out of here. Oh, damn. And a little shortcut. You got candles all round ya. Use them. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? What do you mean? I was invited to teach them some of my techniques. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But alas, these goblins seem to thrive on the crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Then why are you beating yourself? <laughs> I realize this looks strange, but I assure you, it is a most intimate form of worship. You see, pain is a loving thing. But trying to explain it to these goblins has proven. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Clever man, how did you know? Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. 
We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. And how would you do that? As the maiden of pain, the goddess Loviata teaches us through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. Mm, I must see this. Don't you dare say no. This man is of common stock. Only the poorest of men need settle for the spectacle of their own gore. All right, why not? Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. All right. Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Ah! Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Would you have joined up with him if you'd known he'd be indulging in this sort of thing, Astarian? I mean, I had my hopes. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. Uh, mercy! Mercy! <laughs> Plus eight. It's like as long as I don't run a, roll a one, I'm good. Damn. Famous last words. <laughs> okay, we're good. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Don't wear him out entirely, priest. I might have use for him yet. <laughs> They're really enjoying this. Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I could feel Oviatar's pleasure with every sting of my scourge. I am proud to have served you this penance. <laughs> it was a uh, interesting experience. Interesting is an understatement, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Personal note. Thank you. That was positively divine. Gosh. She looks like that. Over and over. Grudge. Oh, I need to see that again. Ask him if you can do the that penance. That was thing not too. what I expected to what? see today. Get in there. We might learn something. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. That is not what I want. Obey the drow, serve the absolute, and you may. No smells like a bird of flesh around here. anymore. Absolute, I looking out for it. 
Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. A priestess? One of the leaders, no doubt about it. Let's make her squeal. What's that? Tell your friend to keep quiet, or he'll lose his good eye. Ignore him. Tell me about the mark, priestess. Ready for the fire, are ya? I assume this mark has a purpose. Shows our devotion to the absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Actually, I'd rather not go through with this. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I could help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Any help would be appreciated. I need a healer. You've come to the right place. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! Alright, let's go. Mark. Yeah! I'm way good enough for the Absolute! Okay, I'm all set up, so I'll move some benches around so I could block her. So my goal is to limit her movement, and then I'm going to use Austerian to silence her. I believe this will work, because I know she shouts for help. However, what this does is create a soundproof sphere all within her silence and immune. So I'm assuming the interaction is she can't shout while she's in the silent sphere. And then, yeah, I'm going to throw that down, and hopefully I can burst her down. The unfortunate thing is that when I use this, I won't be able to, since it's just a regular action, I can't, you know, use a sneak attack, which is a bit of a bummer. But, you know, gotta do, gotta do. So, yeah, let's do this. Pick to fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Alright, cool. Oh, and I get a turn. Ooh, and we got the crits. Beautiful. Austerian. Damn, he did. He did 31 damage in one turn. Holy cow. The blade will not bend. Alright. Yeah, if that does AoE, that'll be horrible for us. I think maybe I go the guaranteed damage. Each does two to five. Oh, that's a bit of a gamble. Oh, 60%. Yeah, I'd rather take guaranteed damage. Five, five, three. Not bad. Oh, she only has eight health left. Shit, can we get in range? Finding my way. Okay. Ugh. Only 50%. Well, she hit. That's three. Sometimes the only way out is through. Damn. Let me turn this off. I just need a hit. All I need to do is hit. 75%. 
There's an illicit parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. Who the hell was that talking? Rancid notes. The slobber chops druid who was nosing around ain't just some tomb tomb robin adventurer type. Calls a, himself Hassan, ugly name for an ugly bastard. Add a little word or two with him before the lashers put his hairy arse in the pins. Said he thinks there's something rotten inside us inside me. Reckons he can get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need any help from nobody. Never did, and especially not now the absolute's taken a shine to us. I says there'll be something rotten inside him soon enough. There's a lot of rancid meat down in the pens, and when we cut him open, I'll make sure he stays alive long enough for the maggots to make a nest of him. Damn. Well, Halston, you don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm so glad I found... Wait, it's me! It's Alfira! From the Grove! Alfira? How did you find your way here? It's very dangerous. I'm sorry for barging in like this, but... I had to come find you. You've... Well... Inspired me. I want to stand on my own two feet. To prove that I can be half the Bardley Hala was. I want to join you. To fight by your side. I want to help people. As you've helped me. Are you sure? I lead a dangerous life. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on. With you. You managed to sneak through the goblin camp. You'll be very useful. Really? Just like that? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Really? Just like that? All right. But if she reaches for that loot, it's firewood. I won't let you down. I promise. I mean, plus it'll be nice to have someone to play music with. I didn't even know she could be a companion. Oh, I can't start a conversation with her. Interesting. Yeah, how strange. Anywho, we need to sleep because I need to kill the other goblin leaders. Should I write a song? No, I could probably find it annoying. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. Dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really? That you could be guilty of such bitter business. Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Your misdeed is bright and clear as the dawning day. Oh. 
Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. Chuck. He's hoping the explanation is less sloppy than the kill. Now, I can't help but notice that one of us is positively drenched in blood. So? She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? Yeah, I think I must have killed her. The blood speaks for itself. Why? I suddenly woke up in the night and everything was just like this. The parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper. Hungrier. I... I... Even if it was the worm, this was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air as the Inquisition departs. You are left alone with a familiar headache. Much is uncertain, but you know one thing for sure. The darkness will strike again. Unless you find a light. Okay, what the hell is going on with me? Like... I didn't just brutalize her, I freaking made a circle of her blood. Like some weird freaking ritual. Just so you know, I don't judge you for what happened to that bard, Alfira. But the look of guilt on your face was priceless. I feel horrible about it. I don't care, really. But you could have been more subtle about it. I thought this camp was supposed to be our safe haven. Not quite so when we wake up to dead tiefling bards. I may have difficulty sleeping for a while. I was no friend to Alfira, but there was no sense in killing her. I'll be watching everyone in this camp like a hawk. Especially you. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. What do you make of Raphael? He brings to mind a story. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse the farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you, the cost will be too great. Don't worry, I have no interest in the devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. I don't know, Will. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. At least give me a sword! We want you dead, you dumb knuckle! Not dead any rank. Get down there and stop complaining! We treat the spiders real kind, sir! 
feed them the plumpest prisoners. Get down there and stop complaining. Unless you like big, bristling, hairy legs. Damn, I tried to save you. Scrying eye. Best not to do anything suspicious while it's watching. How about our stuff? Okay, how should we do this? Because I'm sure this thing calls for help. So I'm gonna kill these two without aggroing those two. There's nothing really around me here. So oh my gosh. Like how can it see through this? I don't understand that. That doesn't make any sense. Because it can't see through walls or else we'd be able to see through this. So I I don't understand that at all. Um the only thing they're good at. It's coming over here, which kinda works. I could open up with Will. Sharp as ever. See, <laughs> Will agrees. But I want him to walk this way. Oh, he is. This way! Wait, the eye is onto something. Why is it following me? Alright, right here. This would actually be perfect. And then... Yeah, we'll twin cast. We'll do thunder. Took a life. Now yours will be taken in turn. A fair exchange, perhaps. Cool. And an Austerian is still out of combat. Oh shoot. No. Well, that messes me up. Oh, what do I do here? I think I try to kill this guy first, and then we'll deal with that other guy. Oh man, I messed up my whole opening. And of course I miss. Oh, that is so frustrating. I should, damn, I did so much damage. Yeah, I should have accounted for the uh, the patrol. That's my mistake. I didn't know there was a patrol. I guess I should have waited longer. Um, try to box this dude in. I don't really want him running away. And then I kind of want to save my, um, my spell slots for when I fight them over there. It's going to be the tougher fight. No choice but to keep going. Alright, and then we'll sing. Alright, he's completely boxed in. He's dead. Okay. I don't want to go out too far.
I guess we could just knock her over. No, I don't really want to use my flourishes just yet. We'll do a short rest after that, so I'm going to use short rest. Actually, really, really well. These pariahs, they're prepared All right, to fight cool. The positioning is good. What they do ain't exactly fighting. No, All they gotta do is light up a powder and burn. The yet. Then they're prepared to die for the absolute good. Dying's the only thing they're good at. Your scouting party has not returned. And half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Do not think that means we are equals, Jalok. Are you here to join my hunt? A hunt? Who's the target? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks, it's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. The cultists cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. The thief, whimpering in our dungeon, tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already, you feel her mind closing around yours. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. My hunt ends here, and you're my prey. You would dare! Guards, to me! Yeah, sorry. Killed your guards. <laughs> Damn. Well, that sucks. Oh, did I resist it? Sweet. Oh, you're probably going for this drum here, aren't you? Yeah, that's not happening. Ooh, it's left damage. I can dig it. Fave is the fearless. Oh yeah. And then we need to get you into the fights. Yeah, 
Twin spell, because I'd probably do a long rest after this fight. Oh, like 50%. Oh, oh we got a hit on one. That works. Oh, only 25%. We'll play our song. Get ready to fight her next turn. Damn. Why did she get like three freaking attacks? Was ridiculous. focus on her. Three attacks in one turn, man. And she hits everything. Like, she hasn't missed one attack yet, which is freaking bonkers. Playing this really bad though. What I should have done is silenced her so she can't heal. Yeah. 
Because she's a paladin, yeah? So she can't do her freaking smites while she's silenced. Battle favors the fearless. And then Will, you can just reposition. time. Actually, we don't want to push her back. Got a hit. Making progress. Heck, did she weave through there? Hey, she actually missed the attack. Take you. Hey, but Shadow Heart gets to actually move now, which is great. All right, let's finish her off. promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. So then what should I be doing? Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. And how do I destroy the source of the tadpole's magic? I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the Cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank are called True Souls. They carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. So who are you? It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Is there anything I can do to help you? No. I can handle this. For now. The power I use to protect you... I stole it from someone. They want it back. 
I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. out of here. Goblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Another drow true soul. As if there weren't enough of you. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Scroll? Incense? Do you mean to speak with this corpse? Damn right. I'm gonna make this carcass talk. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Oh, I know this magic. Handed me the scroll and I could do the talking. Then take it. Absolute knows I am not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Who is this Absolute? Ragslin frowns at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Ragslin's suspicions. 
A true soul should never ask about the master. What were you doing in Faerun? Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans! They know something. Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. Why were the Gith chasing the ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no, we're not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Can't you do your own dirty work? Say that again. Cause I know I didn't just hear you refuse the absolute. Fine, fine. I'll talk to Minthara. Falling in line. Just what I like to see. Okay, let's do this. Now, my goal here is I want to take out that warlock. I want to kill all the ads, really. Whoa, I was about to say that didn't even trigger combat. Get a little freeze on. I need to get rid of that. That's a horrible mess. Really? Man, this game doesn't let me have any fun, does it? <laughs> Damn, we rolled a one.
We need a breaker concentration. Let's see. Hey, we got one. Oh boy. Okay, that was kind of done with me to do. Okay, how? Oh snap, he's dead. And I can teleport to him too. Damn, Bart is so freaking dope. <laughs> Holy cow, that was sick.
living fast. I need healing. Gods are watching me. Oh man. This is my time. Fearless. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Whew. Okay, that was an interesting fight. <laughs> we made it out. Things got a little uh, touch and go there, but you know, we made it happen. Barge is being so freaking dope. you want to hear about Casador? You said he was your master. My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Casador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power. I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. A tormentor? What did he do? He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. That sounds terrible. I'm so sorry. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. I'll watch your back. Don't worry. What more could I ask? Now, is that all? What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Casador has control of me. 
body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way, so why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. We have other options. Better options. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more? Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity on it. Still better than alternative. <clears throat> Dummy. Aslan is free. Oh, 91% and you rolled a 1? I guess rolling a 1 was like the only way for him to miss. Damn. 
Dude, I'm staring. I don't know what's up with him. See, Austerian, all you have to do is hit your target. Would have made things easier. Concentrate. But now they're multiplying. Oh, whoops. I shot it at Austerian. My bad. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature, or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Ah, Halson. I spoke to Nettie. She said you could help me with the parasite in my head. Parasites in your head that... You mean you have one of them? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayers spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I'm not sure, but I think this artifact has something to do with it. Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but... I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Tadpole. Tell me what you've learned about the Tadpole's origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. You seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to the moonrise? Gladly, but first I must return to the grove. As you made short work of the goblins' leaders, there's nothing stopping me. Come join me in your own time. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Kill. Damn, he's out. <laughs> there you are, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> are you drunk? I have drunk. Not alcohol, of course. A bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. You seem happy. No need to drink humanoid blood then. You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. You can make merry with either, but they're not the same. But Cazador fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even plonk is a marked improvement. Sounds delicious. <laughs> it was exactly as appetizing as you'd think. Still, that was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. 
True. You can start over. You can be better than what he made you. Exactly. I can be better than him. Stronger. More powerful. More... Oh. You meant be kinder. Pet bunnies, that sort of thing. I have no objection to being nice, of course. Once I have the power to bend others to my will. <laughs> you think power lets you do anything? Free from consequences? Well, yes. You can't look at the world and tell me I'm wrong. Power corrupts. You'll do well to remember that. Oh, I hope so. A little corruption sounds fun. I spent centuries as the victim of a corrupt man. It was the Mind Flayers that plucked me away from that. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. Yeah, I see where he's coming from. Like, if, if you've been stuck in slavery for centuries and just having to endure such cruelty, like, yeah, I'd want to seek power too to make sure that I never, ever was at the whims of someone like that ever again. Tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. body barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Me lord, jubilant day. I have found your vile self at last. Scaleritas fell. Your loyal and ever adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> yep. I'm in a nightmare, aren't I? We are in a place darker than any prison, hotter than any fire, where the souls of the innocent scream in sacred agony. Your flayed and putrefied heart. <laughs> thump, thump. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog mark on the road. Did you cause me to kill her? Such fine work could never be done by a wretch like me. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your... Dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. You're going to tell me everything about my past life. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, uh, I cannot. I am forbidden to interfere. Our debtors will not allow it. Be true to yourself, my lord. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Ah, oh, thank you. It's not enough, but it's all we have. It's quite a day for reunions. 
Hao Sin has returned, too. And I expect he'll want to speak with you. As for us, no armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Ah, we'll see you there. I'm your Lummox. Yes, you are. Now, stop squirming. With the leadership dead, no attack will be mounted on the grove. I am in your debt, my friend. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Kaga is dead. She was swayed by shadow druids. I had no choice. Korga. Poor child. The grove will be a dimmer place without her potential. But you were right. You had no choice. I failed her long before you arrived. The shadows could not have tempted her if I had taught her as I should have. But the grove still stands even if she does not. Thanks to you. And what about my problem? I need to get to Moonrise Towers. Soon. First, I must set matters to rights in the Grove. And you should celebrate your victory. After being dormant for so long, your infection is unlikely to produce new symptoms spontaneously. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. What happens next? The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. <laughs> Maybe you should go take a shower first, bro. He's still drenched in blood. Oh, what is this? All the tieflings are so chill now. Looks like they're getting ready to leave. Good for them. Heldrell didn't want us. And those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you, you risked your life for us. You done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No. Thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. For someone like me, it was pretty simple, actually. Fair enough. I should not have underestimated you. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Cheers. You know... I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. <laughs> really? Saving lives is awful? We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Pfft. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Ha! <laughs> Knowing you, it probably is. Don't be so sour. I like a good time as much as anyone. You know... We could always make our own entertainment, darling. Get a little closer, so to speak. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And here I mistook you for someone with taste. A pity. But have it your way. 
I'm happy to entertain myself. Good luck with that. Thank you. I'm sure you're welcome. There's that confidence I like. I thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. Were our bond a little stronger, I might even have shared a moment of magic with you. Alas, our fledgling acquaintanceship has not yet taken flight. Such intimacy will have to wait. Another night, perhaps. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. Damn, for a party, this is kind of lame. I was expecting something more like One Piece. <laughs> I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us both you've turned your back on me so often. I am grateful for your aid. You are a gifted warrior. Vlakith demands of me no less. If only you'd earned the right to lay at my side. Come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Well, damn. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Me. Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean... Desperate people. Like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Are you worried Ashar won't approve? Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? I'd be glad to. We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. <laughs> Not keen on sharing with others. Not tonight. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. What do you have in mind, besides that bottle, that is? Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? I seem to recall a camp full of goblins faring very poorly after a toast. <laughs> Not worried, are you? Rest easy. To not being poisoned. How about that? Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins or anything like that. Something about you. You must have an extraordinary affinity for the darkness. I'm jealous. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Your turn. I insist. A little give and take is only fair. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... They're lost to me right now. Wrong. You like night orchids and can't swim. You told me once. Hm. I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine. And the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. 
What? You're beautiful. I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. My pleasure. It was just what I needed. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? A little tingle. I'd like to think that would have happened anyway. Let's head back. If we must. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. What's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place, a cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. The Absolute's forces can tolerate such a place? So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicius, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicius? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. I found the hidden entrance in the Temple of Saloon. The way is clear. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. You want to come to Moonrise as well? Why? Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicius years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. What about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. I'll trust your judgment. I'm glad you approve. I do not truly care if you approve, but I am glad. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Sounds like the Grove will be in good hands then. We should get going. Indeed. We've quite the journey ahead of us. Let's not forget the Devil Karlak. The coast is in danger for as long as she's loosed on it. We need to find her and kill her. 